Alright folks, welcome back to the next episode of Mass for Bronx. Welcome back to the next lecture of Mass for Bronx. Today we're gonna be taking a look at the in circle. So let's start with a triangle, shall we? This is my triangle and I want to draw the circle inscribed within my triangle. How can I do that? Well, let's start with the angle. So I'm going to purposefully draw these very skinny angles at each of the three vertices of my triangle. Now, if I bisect each of these three angles, check out what happens. I bisect all three of my angles and I'm going to end up at a common point where all of these angle bisectors meet up. That's the in center. And that's going to serve as the center for the inscribed circle around my triangle. So here's my inscribed circle. Now what can I do? Well, I can express the area of my triangle using this inscribed circle. Let's check out how. Let me first give my triangle some vertices, A, B, and C, so that if this is big A, this side length is small a. If this is big B, this side length is small b. And if this is big C, this side length is small c. Now we can make some nice uh, models. Let's look at this triangle, this green triangle. We'll check it out. This green triangle has an altitude with the length of the radius of my in-circle. Likewise, let's examine this smaller triangle. This smaller triangle, which I'm drawing in yellow, also has an altitude with a length of the in-radius. And finally, let's take a look at our final, our final triangle. And that's this kind of orange triangle. And this orange triangle, if you could guess by now, also has an altitude. And that altitude has a length of the in radius. And now what can we say? Well, we can say something about the area of our triangle ABC. What is the area of this triangle? Well, check it out. The area of this triangle is as follows. It's going to be the sum of three other triangles. You see this blue triangle over here, this blue triangle, it's going to be the sum of the orange triangle, the yellow triangle, and finally the green triangle. And now all we have to do is substitute. Okay, so what is the area of my orange triangle? Well, remember area is just half base times height. So well, what's half of my base? My base is C, right? And what's my height? My height is R. Okay, not too bad, you say, not too bad. Let's keep on going with the two other areas we have. What's the area of the yellow triangle? Well, it's half the base, which is A, half the base, which is A, times the height, which is once again the in radius, r. And finally, what's the area of my green triangle? Well, finally, it's half the base, which is b, and the height, which is r. Well, now do you see something? Do you see something? I can factor out something. I can factor out half of r. And in the parentheses, I'll be left with a plus b plus c. Well, what's half of the perimeter? Well, that's just the semi-perimeter, and r. And so the radius of our triangle is given by a equals sr and that folks is how you find the area of a triangle given the in radius and the semi perimeter thanks for watching this lecture of math from Ron, sponsored by brilliant.org the ambition plus mko plus scaffolding oh. equals oh, learning we believe anyone can learn yeah, anything that's why our motto is oh, memorization oh, is a crime that and that's why we partnered with brilliant Brilliant transforms math and science into hands-on activities so that you too can understand everything from first grade math to E equals MC squared. Barry Science Lab and Brilliant is your MKO and will give you the scaffolding to expand your ZPD until you become the next Sir Isaac Newton or Albert Einstein. Visit brilliant.org slash Barry Science Lab today. The first 50 of you to use that link will get a 20% discount on the Brilliant annual subscription. Don't, Don't forget, forget that, that you too can, can become, become the, the next Einstein. Einstein. So, so let's, let's fall in love, love with math and science. science.